Castle fam. In today's video, we are gonna, going to do, do a lesson with us, Growing with Grammar, Level 1. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. I'm a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down in the bottom. We talk about all things homeschool, family fun on this channel. And we also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. There, I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned from my years of homeschooling. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. Okay, in today's Do a Lesson with us, we are going to be talking about growing with grammar level one. Now, I've used my father's world for seven years, and I love my father's world. But when I used it with Bailey, when it came to their English language arts, I felt like he needed more. He needed to go a little deeper into it. And, you know, the diagramming sentences, what is a sentence, putting a sentence together, those type things. And my father's world didn't cover that as I thought it should. So I found a new curriculum, which is Growing with Grammar, and I started using that with Bailey in second grade. So he is in sixth grade now. So we used it for second, third, fourth, and fifth. And I love it. Uh, when I did this lesson with Becca today, I loved it. It was great. This is my first time using the level one, but it's the exact same format that they have for the upper grades. It starts with the basics and builds on that. So I did the same lesson with Bailey this morning, but it went deeper into it when he was on level six. So let's get started with the flip through. In today's video, we are gonna do a, do a lesson with us, Growing with Grammar, level one. So all you need is the student book for that, and it also comes with an answer key. So we're gonna flip over to lesson one. All right, and I'm gonna show it to you, and then I'll let Becca work on it. It's lesson one, introduce, introduction to sentences. All right, it says, we use a sentence when we speak to each other. A sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought about someone or something. All right, here are your examples. You want to write your name up there? Okay. All right, it says, Linda ate peas. That's a sentence. The frog hopped. These sentences express complete thought. They tell us something about Linda and the frog. What did it tell us about Linda? She was eating peas. That she ate peas. What did it tell us about the frog? The frog was jumping. The frog hopped. The frog hopped. That's right. All right. So now it tells us down here to add words to make each line into a complete sentence. All right. So it says, a cow, a hungry cow, just tell me something. Is a, it tells us, it says, a hungry cow. All right, so we're going to finish the sentence. A hungry cow is eating? Correct. So I'm just going to write is eating and once you get better at writing you will write these and we have a period so that goes at the end of the sentence so right here and it's going to tell us that the, the answers will vary but here's lesson one part a which we're on part a right here and it says a hungry cow ate grass so she said is eating so that's good the beautiful butterfly is flying is flying. There you go. All right. Now it tells us 
the beautiful butterfly flew. All right, so now it says spiders are climbing. All right, are climbing. And we put our period. Did I get it right? And it says spiders spin webs. You're good. All right, our tired puppy is sleeping. Is sleeping. We put our period. All right, and it tells us our tired puppy slept. All right, the baseball player. The baseball player is batting the ball. Hitting the ball. The baseball player is hitting the ball. With the bat. Is hitting the ball. All right, and here it says the baseball player hit a ball. All right, so now we're going to turn our paper over. All right, and now it says draw a line to match the beginning of each sentence on the left to the ending on the right. All right, so it says this one is the pilot. This says the chef, the artist, and this says painted a picture will bake a cake, flew the plane. So the pilot did what? Flew the airplane, that's right. The chef, no, that, remember, hang on. Tell me what, what it is and then I'll make sure you draw the line to it. All right, this says painted a picture, will bake a cake. So the chef does what? Bake a cake. We'll bake a cake. That's right. All right. The artist. The artist will paint the picture. Painted the picture. All right. This says the dog. Three fish. My family. Swims in an aquarium. Who swims in an aquarium? The fish. The fish swim in the aquarium. Had a picnic. Wait. That says the dog. This says my family had a picnic. picnic, wagged its tail. So the dog wagged its tail, okay? This says the doctor, the bear, the clouds slept in a cage. What slept in a cage? Eh, that says the doctor. Tell me what you're doing the before bear. you do it. The bear. This one says the bear. Sleeping in a cage. Slept in the cage, right. All right, this one says, are fluffy and white. What are fluffy and white? Um, Out of these words that I read to you. I forgot. All right, this says the doctor. This says the clouds. The clouds are fluffy. The clouds are fluffy and white. All right, then helped the sick child. The doctor. The doctor helped the sick child. It looks like a tic-tac-toe board, but little And softly. then you come over here. And then it shows you all of your answers that finish, finishes all of the sentences. So we are done with our Growing with Grammar lesson one for today. So I hope you enjoyed this Do a Growing with Grammar lesson with us. I hope you have enjoyed this Do a Lesson video with us. If you have any questions about the curriculum, drop it down in the comments below. I will love to answer the questions for you. Um, I love the curriculum. I will also leave a link down in the description box if you want to buy the curriculum or if you want to look into it yourself. So I will leave that down there. But as always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.